Paddy, the dust, or should I say hair, is finally settled. The last time you appeared on video online, um, it was at Wembley Stadium with yeah. James Wilson and Lucas Coverlan. I mean, taking off your luscious locks. Yeah. Tell us just why, what happened? So I had promised the lads at pre-season, our pre-season tour away, um, all the way at the very start of last season that if they achieved promotion I would get rid of my hair and yeah I didn't think it was going to happen at Wembley in the way that it did but I'm a man of my word so that's where it all happened so Willow because he was man of the match got the scissors um, but they were just from the physio's bag for tape so we were struggling and then Lucas had his uh, razor with him so he got to it as well was it was it always going to be a bet? Was it was it a bet? Was it? No, it wasn't a bet. It was a promise. Like I offered it freely. It wasn't like anything other than that. I just said, if you do it, I'll honour all the effort and everything with my barnet. <laughs> it's, uh, naturally, of course. Yeah, that's something that you would always do. Of course. Um, so yeah. So when the, when it all the day before when we were looking around Wembley, all the lads were saying, "Oh, tomorrow it's happening, it's happening." I was like, "No, no, no. I want it to be done in the right way. I want it to be." in a controlled environment. Uh, Wembley changing rooms is not a controlled environment. <laughs> how, how long was it before you had a haircut? So it's been eight and a half years, no scissors. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad place to get your, your, your hair cut then. No, if it, was the, if, <laughs> if it was going out anywhere, it was going out on the biggest stage of them all. <laughs> just the, every other barber shop now that has to deal with your hair is just going to feel like a massive come yeah, down. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be able to do it again. <laughs> you just <laughs> go for till, another eight years. Till the next time. Um, how does it feel? So you have been, you know, eight years is a long time to have it, long hair. It feels really weird. Like I still have sort of like phantom hair. Um, <laughs> so I'll still like reach for it or whatever and then realise like, but it helped in the first few days afterwards because like I keep touching him and be like, oh no, it was real. We are going up. Um, yeah, you, you know that it's raining sooner than, <laughs> than usual. Um, and yeah, I can wear hats again now because my hair was a hat. So now all hats are available. Those are the biggest changes. Oh, and I, I shower for fun now because it just dries so quick. Was one of the first messages you had about your shampoo? Did I, did I hear that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to sell it all off. It wasn't even a congratulations. No. It was, oh, is your shampoo available? Yeah. Is, that, is that one of the first messages? Yeah, no, people were after that. And like people just, because a lot of people have only known me with the long hair as well. So it's been a, it's been a weird time for a lot of there's people. A, there's a lovely shot of your, of your mum kind of looking on in horror, hugging Mort our kit man, Jack. Mortified. <laughs> what did they say? Um, Mom, it took her a while to get used to. I think she's still sort of getting used to it. But now that a bit of the air is growing back, then we're okay. Dad loved it. But I think that's just because he was jealous of the long locks before. He's like, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. Back to my level, son. <laughs> yeah. We, sh we, share, we share that thing in common now. No, it's not a name anymore. It's the hairstyle as well. Yeah. That's what it is. What was the original plan with the hair? So, the original plan... Um, which I said to the lads was to donate it to um, a charity called the Little Princess Trust who makes uh, wigs for children who are affected by cancer and go through chemotherapy and all that. Um, and it's an amazing charity that does amazing work and it's really special and I really wanted to donate my hair to it um, but in the craziness of Wembley changing rooms, like it needs to be clean and done right and I, and I don't think they'll accept the hair because it's all covered in champagne but um but I, I've still got loads of people because I told people over the years that that was my intention so I've got a lot of people who still want to donate so we're opening up this just giving page um to celebrate promotion and celebrate the the hair being gone um so it can't be my hair but it helps them turn other people's hair into these wigs so it's, it's a great cause it's an absolutely incredible cause congratulations for sticking to your word Thanks. and getting your hair cut off and congratulations for raising money as i said for the princess trust an absolutely incredible cause. thanks amazing yeah up the veil bring on league one <laughs>